We want to continue our discussion on gay marriage now and gay rights here in Michigan. Even though gay marriage is a big step forward for equal rights for LGBT people, they do still face uphill battles in a whole bunch of states, including here in Michigan. That's because Michigan does not include sexual orientation as a civil rights protection. Governor Snyder has pushed the legislature to change that, but they have not acted on it. Now, joining to us to discuss this right now, Jay Kaplan, the staff attorney for LGBT Project at the ACLU of Michigan. So. Uh, the, the Supreme Court rules on gay marriage this week, everybody kind of assumes it's a whole new world. Well, in many ways, it is a whole new world. I mean, it's the fundamental right to marry, but it still means that uh, LGBT people in Michigan can be subject to discrimination in employment, in housing, and in public accommodations in most places in our state. Does that mean then that someone could be fired? Say, if an employer doesn't agree with their sexual Does orientation, is that, could that lead to that? It could lead to that. It could mean that somebody got married over the weekend and uh, the employer heard about that on Monday and then they could fire them. And in most places in Michigan, that would be legal. Well, you think that since they got married, now they are, are married uh, under the Supreme Court's ruling that basically legitimizes that. So doesn't that stop that kind of discrimination? It does not. We do need, we need to amend our state civil rights laws to include the categories of both sexual orientation and gender identity to fully protect LGBT people against discrimination. But Jay, I do understand that Michigan does not allow discrimination based on marital status. So does that give a married same-sex couple some maybe extra protection because of the Supreme Court ruling that they didn't have before last week? It might help in some areas. So, for in other words, let's say an employer was offering a spousal benefit to employees but refused to cover legally married same-sex couples. Um, possibly one could try to use marital status as a protected category. But it would, still would not provide those protections you know, if the discrimination was motivated by uh, animus towards sexual orientation or towards gender identity. Now, the governor says he wants to fix this. Uh, do you have any hope that's going to get done anytime soon? Oh, we do hope so. Certainly the business community is very much in support of this. They recognize that this makes good economic sense. Uh, certainly when you look at the polling of most Michiganders, they're in support of this. It's now just up to our legislature to do the right thing. Jay Kaplan, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you.